really happened to all of those conquerors who've been MIA for so long. As one of the few who have returned, I have come here tonight to share with you the truth. <laughs> November 6, 2006. I'm driving to my 37th consecutive conqueror meeting when BOOM! Three tires blow out. A blinding green light descends from the heavens. My car battery dies instantly. And my favorite Mike Dooley CD flies out of the player at me like a motivational frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the last time I'd be seen for nearly a year. <laughs> Mr. Contest Master, <laughs> fellow Toastmasters, and anyone else who thinks this sounds like a bad episode of X-Files, I awoke in a large padded room filled with missing conquerors who were anything but fine. And as I came to, everything started to rhyme. They'd gone crazy, loony. Picture Lynn Warren with his nerve shot. Andy Dooley bouncing off walls crying, come to my workshop. <laughs> I pleaded for answers. Andy, where are we? Come on, man, get with it. But he ran from Tammy Gavin when she shouted, don't you use this room to solicit. <laughs> Tim Elvis Ricky greeted me with, welcome to the jailhouse rock. But I almost blew it. When Ed Goddard tried to teach me the ballroom dance to it, Get your hands off me, Ed! Would somebody please tell me what's happening? <laughs> Barbara Bergstrom just stared at me, folding and refolding the same napkin. <laughs> Barbara, you're supposed to be in Chicago! She dribbled and said, shush! Sh Everyone's minds had become like our club's dinners, reduced to mush! <laughs> Confused and alone, I wandered up to a microphone. Can we all please just talk about how we're going to get home? 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 <laughs> but they all just sat there silent in their psych ward pajamas. Told you Ron Callies jumped up and he corrected my grammar. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to, not gonna. Look, whatever, Jerome, I'm doing my best to keep this from becoming like one flew over the conqueror's nest. <laughs> then I heard, come here, from a nicely decorated corner. <laughs> Linda Miller was there <laughs> with this huge smile on her. And you want answers? They've all been drugged, but ain't nobody harming me. You've been kidnapped and brought here by members of Dale Carnegie. <laughs> they want to know all our secrets. They want to learn from insiders. They even want to know how we age like Carl Ryder. <laughs> I'm out of here tonight. Ain't no trouble, you see. Tell them what they want to know and they'll hide you in WP. Witness protection? Please, I'd rather be left here and drugged. No. WP is code for a place they call Winter Park Club. <laughs> Before I could answer, two men stormed the room and they cuffed me. Michael Joseph said, you tell him nothing! <laughs> Drag me to a dark room. Tell us everything! They thundered. But I swear, all I gave him was my name, ATM rank, and Toastmasters membership number. <laughs> They only interrogated me just that once. But then they threw me in a lonely cell for about nine months. There, I almost lost it. My mind had unraveled until the day I heard the bang, bang, bang of a Toastmaster's golden gavel. My cell began to buckle. The walls began to give, I heard. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm a new conquerator. Brian Fulinator, hey, hello. Debbie Piccarello, John, Richard, Mark, and Wendy, they took me to set more conquerors free. But there were some we couldn't get to, like Don Peachy and Tim Hanley. Guys, that was weeks ago, back in September. Now who's coming with me back there to get the rest of our members? <laughs> Where? those t-shirts with pride. Let's plan a full-scale rescue. And please watch your back. Don't let Big Dale get you. There's 
a lesson to be learned here. I hope you understand it. It's thanks to our newest members that we remain the best club on this planet. Mr. Contest Master. In place, the runner-up to the for best speaker goes to, drumroll please, Toast, Toastmaster Justin Montana. Definitely not least, the best speaker for the evening. First place goes to Toastmaster Andrew Greenstein.